Hello students, I am Dr. V. Premla Priyadarshini with you to teach you on the model Computers in Food Service. Today's presentation of mine will have a brief introduction about food service, the objectives of this module, the history of computers in food service and a glimpse of various functions of computers in food service and its applications and of course a summary of what we have learned. Food service or a catering industry defines those business institutions and companies responsible for any meals prepared outside the home. Food service industry includes restaurants, schools, hospitals, cafeteria, catering operations and many other formats. The food service industry encompasses all the activities, services and business functions involved in preparing and serving food to people eating away from home. It includes all types of restaurants from fine dining to a fast food. It also includes institutional food service operations that are located such as schools and hospitals as well as other speciality vendors such as food truck operators, catering businesses. Today's food service industry makes up to 10% of total workforce in the United States which amounts to 14.4 million workers and 14% of total workforce in India. Hospitality industry is also turning out to be glamorous in recent years. Advent of information technology has brought in new scopes and challenges to hospital industries. The use of computer in, in food service is inseparable and has proved to be an asset in the overall functioning of food service operation. In fact, today's hospitality industry cannot survive without computer so much to say that as the information era grew computers in hotels have also grown. With this brief introduction let me tell you that this module will make you to gain knowledge on the importance of computers in food service and understand the different types of computers operated services in food service that is in both hospitals as well as in hotels. Let me now tell you the history of computers in food service. Initially, hotels functioned manually looking after events like reservations of rooms, registrations, maintenance of account, inventory control and sales. Due to combustion in manual calculation, human errors and time factors, and many food service institutions started using adding machines which is nothing but a simple calculator. Later on the adding machines were replaced by mechanical billing machines. A mechanical billing machines were generally an equipment which connected internally to a number of small calculators in one machine as such through these machines reduced the time and error still it was difficult to handle because the operator need to tap or click the correct key on the machine whenever it is being operated. When transistors and circuit boards were invented, the hospitality industry also slowly started to adopt this technology in place of mechanical machines. Now the circuit boards were not only user friendly, they also had a limited memory capacity. That is, the operators were able to store or track a record of transaction of the financial bill or the final bill of all the guests in the hotel. That is, the operators were able to store or track records of transactions of the final balance of all the guests in the hotel. This was considered as a greatest boon to the hospitality industry, particularly to the front desk as it solved major problems of balancing the guest account. As the information technology marched forward, the hospitality industry also moved a giant leap towards computerization of hotels and hospital industries. 
What we witness today is the digital progression of feeding and decoding of information an accounting system wrote from the scratch of entering data manually to electronically. Remember students, though system change but the basic principles and functioning procedure and the system still remains the same. However, what we see today is a system which apart from performing basics operation is capable of automatically generating information, posting charges to guest accounts and balancing its own function. This does not only mean that the receptionist or the cashier is no longer necessary but rather they are relieved of some of the boring and repetitive work which is part of day-to-day -day operation of every hotel and hospital. Quite interesting, isn't it? Now let us see some of the vital computerized systems operated in food service industry. To start with, computerized billing machines. Initially, bills were handwritten. They were entered into guest folio. That is, each guest in a hotel or a hospital will be assigned an account page where the operator or the receptionist keeps entering the bill amount to the guest folio which is later entered into a ledger and subsequently to a journal. A journal is a book which has details of all guests account entered chronologically and in alphabetical order. At the end of each shift the receptionist or the operator has to balance the account every day. Any change in the bill is rewritten every time. Whereas in the electronic billing system, the built-in memory of the last balance of the guest bill ensures that there are no pickup errors and no overprinting of transaction. Since the electronic system also has an increased range of alphanumerical characters, a better description of the origin of the charges can be given. Not only that, the bill looks professional also, but it is also easier to read and understand. The bills can be stored for a very long duration. Therefore, forecasting of sales is made easy. It also helps in easy auditing and maintenance of account. Remember students that a computerized bill has no limitation as to the alphanumerical characters which it can print. So the bill can be quite explicit as to the origin of each charges. Because of the charges can be sent directly to the guest bill from any of the hotel's outlet and the computer holds everything in its memory. When a guest bill is requested, it is printed on time. Now let us see the role of computers in reservation. Let us move on to computerized reservations. The reservation system is capable of taking the information on a forthcoming room booking for either an in or a group and matching it against the existing data held. This is done almost instantaneously and provided that the room status is corrected within the system. It is completely accurate. The machine process does not simply see whether that type of room is available on that day, but will also look at the room location, facilities, rates, or any other parameters you wish to enter against a room. Once the booking has been made, all of the computers for anything up to three years. Shall we now move on to the next application of computers in room reservation? Computers in room reservation system. Students, I hope that you would have studied the different types of reservations and different means of reservations in the modules of front office. The computer reservation system is in fact a boon to the hospitality industry as it helps a hotelier to book rooms in different parts of the world. The front office manager can access the reservation system to obtain a variety of information which would be helpful to them in their role. 
This permits the guest of one hotel to know the availability of room in a sister hotel either in the same country or internationally. For example, a guest staying at the Holiday Inn London could know within a minute whether or not a Holiday Inn Crown Plaza in Beijing can accommodate them. The CRS, that is the Central Reservation System, may also be a part of Internal House Reservation System. Computers is also used in predicting sales volume. They actually calculate the yield management. Yield management is a room management techniques which has been adapted from airlines to suit the hotel industry. Its main purpose is to maximize room occupancy while at the same time realizing the best average room rate. A computerized yield management system enables the reservation clerk to make the best choice as to what room to take and at what price. The system gives the ability to instantly analyze the profit potential of each booking. This is done by adjusting the room rate to suit the need of rooms at any particular time. So that an accurate assessment of room needs can be made, all historical guest informations low and high demand periods, availability of room status and source of business are all computerized to enable this process. This information along with the knowledge of local activities can also assist the sales and booking clerk to use at a glance all of what if possibilities not just for day to day operation but well into the future also. Let us now see the role of computers in registering a room that is the registration process. Manual reservation and registration was literally done by writing all informations on a reservation form and later getting posted to a fresh registration form on the day of registration. The manual registration was time consuming and all the registration forms were filled and filed at least for a period of six months since the hotel is liable to provide information of guests whoever stays in their hotel when asked for by police officials and others. The computerized front office is highly useful when it comes to guest check-in. Since all the guest informations were already obtained by the reservation clerk, when the booking was made, all that the receptionist has to do is to copy the same information and paste it on to the registration form. Later, on the arrival of the guest, the receptionist prints the guest reg registration card, confirms all the details with the guest, checks with the method of payment and then simply gets the guest to sign the form. This procedure obviously saved time for each guest upon check-in and in turn reduced the queue which tend to form at busy time. Whether the room booking was made direct to the hotel or via a central reservation front office does not matter. The information is held in the computer system and can be assessed by the hotel at any time. Students, so far we have seen the application of computers in billing and maintenance of account, reservations, registrations and predicting the sales volume. Let us now see what a computerized keying system is all about. Computerized keying system. Remember students that many hotels which runs a computer system have now replaced their manual keys into electronic room key systems linked with the front desk computer. Once the guest has checked into the hotel and the receptionist has allotted a room, it is done with the arrival. A paper or a plastic room key is automatically printed simultaneously the lock configuration of the allotted room is changed to suit the unique key. 
This means that upon checkout or when the guest by mistake loses their key, the lock is reprogrammed and that any lost key or keys belonging to previous guest will not be able to be used. This therefore ensures a far greater element of room and offers an excellent guest security. Computers thus help us in planning and utilizing our resources efficiently, particularly in energy management. Now let us see the role of computers in managing our resources. An energy efficient management system is a system which is designed to control automatically the operations of mechanical equipment in a hotel so as to achieve the optimum savings on utilizing so as to achieve the optimum saving on utilities such as heating air conditioning and ventilations which can be controlled of light and central heating down an example would be the control of lighting and central heating or air conditioning of a guest room. When the guest enters the room, they insert their keys into a special socket located near to the door. This notifies the energy systems to activate all power to that room, which in turn means that the room lights can be turned on and the room's ventilation system works. When the guest leaves the room, the system will automatically shut down after a short delay period, thus saving electricity that would be wasted if room lights were left on and saving gas or oil from heating a room which is not in use. Not only that, computerized programs also helps us in reheating of food, helps in maintaining stocks in the kitchen, thereby it reduces the food cost. It is important that the front office staff notify the guest upon arrival that the hotel has an energy management system. They must also explain that the electricity and the room ventilation systems have to be operated by inserting the key into the slot by the door. Electronic point of sales. This is yet another a unique feature of computers applied in hospitality industry. Across the hospitality sector, hotels are using multiple variations of electric point of sales. Softwares to fulfill their operation needs, enabling hoteliers to track inventories, process payments and understand their customers purchasing behavior. As time has progressed, EPOS systems have diversified into other areas of hotel operation might as well, such as enterprise reporting and staff rotas. Diversification of softwares you already use seems like a good idea, but it is never really lives up to the expectation. EPOS softwares have evolved over many years. Core areas within a hotel are a good fit. That is, the core areas where it can be applied are for a table service, food or drink order, merchant processing and reservation management. So much to say, it proves be beneficial only to the above criteria. In general, this system helps any hotel or hospital to track the guest bills a different point of service or sales. For example, if a guest has requested for an express checkout and has to vacate the room and is yet to settle his accounts but wishes to have a coffee before he leaves, hence visits the coffee shop and orders for a coffee. Now, the charges for the coffee service will be automatically added to the guest account which he has to settle at the time of checkout. Now let us move on to the role of computers in hospitals. Today's dietary departments are also computerized. Computers are used in maintaining the patient's record, both the inpatient's as well as the outpatient records. The diet history of the patients are stored electronically to ensure an efficient follow-up. Computers are helpful in menu planning and 
many user friendly softwares are now replacing the manual system of calculating the nutrient content of a plant dish. Computer aided nutrition education and diet counseling is turning out to be an effective tool in the prevention and management of therapeutic conditions. Students, to summarize, so far we have seen the history of computers in the food service, the applications of computers in billing, reservations, registrations, yield management, particularly in energy management, management of resources, electronic point of sales and computers in hospitals. Students to take up the role of an administrator in any food service industry, it is mandatory that we keep updating ourselves with the current technology around us. This era of information and technology has given us new challenges and opportunities to our industrial growth in terms of softwares and mobile apps. As hospitality industry always strives hard towards customer satisfaction, let us do it with a personal touch empowered technologically. Thank you for listening. Enrich yourself with more learning. Have a good day.